Good morning. It is July 21st, 2014. UPP OptionMillionaires.com. About seven minutes before the market is going to open to start the week. It is a big earnings week. Earnings action. It's fantastic. We have a lot of earnings reports uh, coming out, especially middle of the week and the end of the week. Let's look at the action for the S&P 500 futures. Back on Thursday, I did my last market, my last, last market video it was on Thursday. The market was not yet open and futures were tumbling. And I said, would not be surprised to see a reversal like we saw the previous Thursday. And sure enough, look at that reversal. And then we had the plane. The plane was the excuse to sell right here at the just about the highs that we haven't seen in quite a while. And we declined. And this was overnight. The futures were down some 1%. Uh, in addition to the regular session, I wouldn't say 1%, about three quarters of a percent, something like that. Yeah, who cares? Give or take 10 or 15%. And uh, then we rallied off the lows there. When the market opened, it was on like Donkey Kong. And here we are, stock futures pull back a little bit here as the market's about to open. But we're consolidating here nicely. You would almost call this a flagpole. And this is a flag. And so let's see if we can burst higher out of it to record levels, which is something that you don't hear too often these days. Seemingly, those who have been calling for a market pullback continue to call for it. But even if you look at the action that we've had recently, we're still well confined, channeling here, and look to be consolidating in this channel for a move to the upside. We'll see if we get that this week. Um, earnings reports coming this week that could send the market to record levels. Uh, this morning we have Hasbro and Six Flags, but after the bell today, we have the the burrito, Chipotle Mexican Grill, Chipotle. Um, you actually can draw another trend line. Let me pull it back because I put some charts up at the blog at optionmillionaires.com. Uh, this line here, uh, but anyway, you can look at it. There's a, a nice, beautiful cup and a, a little handle there. Grab that handle and rake it over to $600 level at $592.42 for Chipotle Mexican grill, similar pattern for Netflix as it broke out to record levels. Consolidating here, looks poised to break out. I wouldn't say 500, but you never know with this stock. Unbelievable, it was down here. JB at Option Millionaires was talking about this stock heading higher again, and indeed it did, and we had a nice spike up, a nice bull flag and continuation up until we finally pull back, put in a nice little Rounding bottom here now, a cup and handle, and looks ready to launch. And a stock I'm looking to get into via call options for earnings this week that I really like. So I'm only going to cover the first couple earnings that we have uh, Monday and Tuesday. Would be McDonald's. McDonald's, nice flagging consolidation pattern here. And uh, looking for a move up to record levels at some point this year. Uh, the market's pricing in like a 1.8% move to the upside or downside. So if I go a little bit out of the money and we move three to 4%, oh, ho, ho, I'm gonna be able to load up on those happy meals. Yeah. Uh, let's go into some other stocks, the reporting earnings. Uh, before the bell Tuesday, because it's important, uh, unless you're one of those perfect traders out there that can enter an option contract, you know, when the market's closed overnight while they're sleeping and post it on Twitter before the market opens, us mere mortals actually have to purchase the option while the market is open, which means Tuesday morning, when you have uh, lock, lock, uh, McDonald's, Verizon Travelers, Kimberly Clark, Coca-Cola, tomorrow morning, reporting earnings, if you're not in the option contract the day before, yeah, you're going to have to wait until the market opens. And at that point in time, a stock like Coca-Cola will have already moved either to the upside or the downside. You see, we're bumping up against resistance, long-term resistance for Coca-Cola. So if I were to be a buyer of options here, I'd probably be buying the put options for a pullback to about the $40 level. Uh, Kimberly Clark, whoo! A lot of crying going on in the world these days as this tissue maker just keeps flying to record levels, folks. And look at this trend. You can't really buck the trend as much as you want to sit there and say, oh, it's, it's going to pull back here. Oh, it's a, this is a bubble when, we're ha when, you know, when you have snot bubbles being wiped away by Kimberly Clark tissues. I don't know. I'm just making a joke. This probably, I don't even know if they sell tissues. They might make recycled tires or they could make, I don't know. I would think of something funny, but uh, I'm not really that funny of a person. So let's just leave it at that. Uh, let's move on to another stock 
that I like. Heading into earnings, we have Tuesday after the bell. And we'll just cover that, and then we'll go into a couple individual individual ETFs. But Apple, uh, I'm not alone. And what scares me about Apple here is that the analysts continue to come out uh, talking about Apple bullishly. I think one analyst came out this morning, moved the target from 100 to $135. Split adjusted. Woo, you're talking a lot of money there. What is that? Seven? That's over $900 split adjusted. And remember the record high on, on uh, Apple was 706 or something like that. Split adjusted. So uh, 99. Nah, nah. Anyway, you get the point. But we have after the bell tomorrow, we have Apple. We have Microsoft. Something to keep in mind, Microsoft's had a really tremendous run over the last uh, nine months. Uh, but, and you see that really blow off. So we could see it come back to, to this level before it continues the melt up. Uh, this is really an out of the ordinary move for Microsoft. And we have VMW as well. Not BMW, VMW, which has been consolidated. Look at this, this is boring. This in the past has been a very volatile stock. So we could see earnings on tomorrow after the bell. Make this a volatile stock again. Are we just consolidating for a test up here at the 112.50 level we hit? Earlier before the tech wreck of 2014. Dun -dun. Uh, and we have earnings coming up after the, uh, the close on Wednesday. We have uh, Facebook, uh, Qualcomm. Thursday, we have Caterpillar, Dunkin' Donuts. And then after the bell, Amazon, Baidu, Deckers, Mellanox, Pandora, Starbucks, and Visa. I like saying it like that. Visa. Uh, all of those I'll cover in my video. Uh, Either later today, tomorrow, the next day, somewhere along there. <laughs> uh, let's look at some individual uh, ETFs like the SBY or consolidating here. But IWM has been a tough nut to crack as it came up to just about a double top. A nice rally, though, on Friday. We had that miraculous comeback um, on Friday for a lot of the indices. I like saying that, indices. Uh, hey, what do you think about the indices? Oh, I don't know. Uh, so anyway, I'm just talking to myself <laughs> and nobody's home. So let's look at this. I, I was saying it's a possibility we come back to this 107.50 level. But again, consolidating. That's what's happening here. It's a consolidation. No market crash here. And it's a consolidation for what? Oh, if the trend is, is any indication, it's consolidation for a move to the upside to record levels. Uh, TLT finally broken out. This is very bullish. Some would say this is bearish for the stock market because how can you have bonds being bought and stocks at the same time? Well, it's been going on for five years and who's to say it doesn't go on for another couple more years. And the main factor in the in this rally in, in bonds and stocks is the fact that overseas interest rates remain lower than they are here. Which means if you're chasing yield, why not come here to the United States of America and buy bonds, support the United States military? No, I don't know, I'm just... Spreading some propaganda. Uh, VXX, yeah, beautiful. Uh, great volatility the last couple of days. We had that move up. 3050 was the high uh, to, oh, at the close on Thursday. And it, I think it even went a little higher than that. And then look at the action. It plummeted down close to 2815. Just tremendous moves. Uh, the bottom line is this again. This is the long term chart for the VXX. Uh, came into an existence. At precisely at the top of the market, uh, the bottom of the market, should I say, the top for volatility, and has been selling off. Ever you see the vol the uh, the volume picking up. Uh, this has been like a dumb trade, and there was a trade a couple weeks ago for the January 2015 twenty dollar puts at seventy five cents, a one point one two five million uh, dollar trade. So <laughs> I mean, at this rate, uh, that could be in the money by September October. All right, well, the video, I'm running out of time here. I don't want to chew up too much of your time. Uh, we have gold also being very volatile here as we have central banks globally continuing their monetary printing scheme. And you can see we've finally broken out of this downward channel. Uh, could we have bottomed here? Uh, it's possible. It's something to keep an eye on. And we move up. The first point of interest here would be to 150, which is a big move from here. It's almost $25. And I think there's a distinct possibility for that as long as we don't fall back into this channel. All right, you baby, your optionmillionaires.com. Stock futures are lower to start the week, but we have a lot of earnings. Earnings action. It's fantastic. And that could be what moves the market to new record levels this week. You, PBC, in the chat room at optionmillionaires.com. Everyone, have a great trading week. Goodbye.